Hello. You ready for another story? You are? That's good. Today, I've got a story called Dogzilla. And it's one of my favourites. And I love it. Because Dogzilla, written by Dav Pilkey, has been rated as extremely goofy. Let's begin. It was summertime in the city of Mouseopolis, and mice from all corners of the community had come together to compete in the first annual barbecue cook-off. Look, we got ribs, chicken drumsticks. He's wearing a chef's hat. As the cook-off got underway, smoke from the hot grills lifted the irresistible scent of barbecue sauce over the rooftops of the city. A gentle wind carried the mouth-watering smell into the distance, right over the top of an ancient crater. Before long, a strange and mysterious sound was heard. All at once, the volcano began to tremble. And suddenly, up from the very depths of the earth, came the most terrifying creature ever known to mouse kind, the dreadful Dogzilla. Ah, it's terrifying. Immediately, soldiers were sent out to stop the mighty beast. The heroic troops were led by their brave commanding officer, the Big Cheese. All right, you old flea bag, squeaked the Big Cheese. Get those paws in the air. You're coming with us. Without warning, the monstrous mutt breathed her horrible breath onto the mice. Doggy breath, screamed the soldiers. Run for your lives. Hey, come back here, shouted the Big Cheese to his troops. What are you, men or mice? We're mice, they squeaked. Mm, said the big cheese. You're right. Wait for me. <gasps> so they've all run away. The colossal canine followed the soldiers back to Mysopolis, licking up all the food in her path. <gasps> She's eating all the barbecue food. Afterward, Dogzilla wandered through the city streets, doing those things that come naturally to dogs. Dogzilla chased cars, right off the freeway. Ah! Dogzilla chewed furniture, and the furniture store as well. Uh -oh. And Dogzilla dug up bones at the Museum of Natural History. Ah! He's eating a mouse dinosaur bones. Meanwhile, the Big Cheese had organised an emergency meeting with one of the city's greatest scientific minds, Professor Scarlett O'Hare. Gentle mice, said Professor O'Hare, this monster comes from prehistoric times. It is perhaps millions of years old. Maybe we could teach it to do something positive for the community, suggested the Big Cheese. I'm afraid not, said Professor O'Hare. You simply can't teach an old dog new tricks. If we're going to defeat this dog, we've got to think like a dog. We've got to find something all dogs are afraid of. Something that will scare this beast away from Mousopolis forever. I've got an idea, squeaked the big cheese. I wonder what it is. Within minutes, the mice had assembled at the centre of town. All right, Dogzilla, shouted the big cheese. No more, Mr. Mice Guy! <gasps> and suddenly a blast of warm, soapy water hit Dogzilla with tremendous force. The panicking pooch let out a burst of hot, fiery breath, and the chase was on. He doesn't like it, does he? The big cheese tried to catch up with the hot dog with all the relish he could muster. <gasps> They've even got helicopters with shampoo and conditioner. 
Dogzilla hightailed it out of town and back into the mouth of the ancient volcano. Well, I'll be doggoned, squeaked the big cheese. It worked! With the horrifying memory of the bubble bath etched in her mind forever, Dogzilla never again returned to the Mysopolis. Within a year, Mysopolis had rebuilt itself, just in time for the second annual barbecue cook-off. The mice of Mysopolis fired up their grills, confident that they would never see or hear from Dogzilla again. However, there was one thing they hadn't counted on. <gasps> the smoke is rising out of the houses again. Puppies! Uh-oh. I wonder what the puppies will do. Bye-bye.